something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. My luck is complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. <laughs> Athlete of the year, folks, Sharon Spitz. <laughs> Very funny, Adam. Go long. I got it. Yes. yes. Ah! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. I'm really sorry. Hmm. It was an accident, Dad. I'll fix it right now. Put new boards up. Just leave it, Alan. You've done enough. Great. Now your dad's got another reason to dislike me. Am I missing something? Who's Alan? My dad's bad with names. Your dad doesn't like Adam? It's not that. He just doesn't know him. They've never really connected. You're kidding! It's no big deal. Ooh. Honest. Wow, killer test. That section on isotopes? Brutal, man. Yeah, Mr. Malamut's still mad ever since Nina drew that picture of his nose hair. So, want to do something tomorrow night? Catch a movie? Can't. I have b-ball. I have track. How about the day after? Band rehearsal. Skateboard demo. Okay. The day after that? Baseball. Hockey finals. Week after next? I'll call you. Catch you later, Spitz. You're making appointments to see each other? So, we're busy people. Doesn't it bother you? What? That you've hardly been spending any time together? It does, you know, but what can I do? I don't know. Find stuff you can do together? Cancel things that get in the way? You know what? You're right. Hold this. Now let me see. I'm gonna juggle my schedule around to make room for Brock. Okay, tomorrow. You and I are supposed to go rollerblading? Right. You're canceling on me, aren't you? Only if you don't get mad. Of course not. Anything I can do to help. <laughs> ah, where is that thing? Oh, Wong here? Wong who? Ha ha. Seriously, I bet you're forgetting what I look like. Let me remind you. Drop dead gorgeous, killer bod, great teeth. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Okay, I just came up with one of my brilliant ideas. What do you say we find more stuff to do together? I say yes. Can we start tomorrow afternoon? Um, feel like going to my base workshop with me? All right, I forgot. Sorry. Mm, don't worry about it. But let's go through our schedules and talk later, okay? You got it. Bye. Rollerblading. You back in? Sure. <sighs> hey, Adam. Did you fix the fence yet? Mr. Corbett won't let me near it. This morning, I walked right by him. Usually he nods. He even says, Hi, Alan. Today, no nod. You have to get to know him. Too late for that. 
<sighs> I bet he can't wait for me to go to college, so we can push Hannah to see other guys. Why don't you just talk to him about, I don't know, sports? Tried it. Okay, um, computers? Didn't work. Tools! Guys love tools, right? Not Mr. Corbett. Well, there has to be something you have in common. Thanks for trying, but you might as well just forget about it. Maybe Hannah will send me a postcard when I go to college. What about your sandwich? Not hungry. Adam, not hungry? Wow, serious. I had to do something to help him. But what? Hi there. Hi. Need some help? Nah, I can, I can manage. Thanks. So, uh, nice weather, huh? For fixing fences? Yeah, it'd be hard if it was raining. The wood would get all soggy. Something on your mind, Sharon? Yeah, sort of. I love your hat. Yeah? Oh, yes. It's got a duck on it. A blue-winged teal. They winter in Central and South America. That's a blue wing's call. When he's coming in over the marshlands. It's a pretty sight, Sharon. Yeah, I bet. Been studying ducks my whole life. Really? This is from a group I belong to. We work towards protecting wetlands where ducks live. You're a conservationist? Sure am. That's awesome. What's your group called? Just quacks. Jeez, Sharon. It's what you should talk to Mr. Corbett about. Okay, okay, I'm going. Go on. You can do it. We have contacts. And conservation's obviously his thing. Look at the stuff he's given us. Keychains, T-shirts. Mm, the guy sounds kind of obsessed, Sharon. So? Conservation is important. Wetlands have the most kinds of animals and vegetation, and they're disappearing. And losing a species has a domino effect. For instance, if we lose frogs, we'd have more mosquitoes. Can you imagine that? I'd rather not. Just Quacks has helped conserve 10 million acres of natural habitat in North America alone. Where do they get the money? Well, from donations. It's a big organization, you know. What's wrong? I'm supposed to meet Brock here. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. What are you wearing that for? Today's our golf lesson. No, it's not. It's rock climbing. You got it wrong, Wong. See? Golf lesson. Rock climbing. He wrote it down wrong. Hey, you guys, time out. But fine. Cancel golf and we'll go to the park. My dad booked this lesson for us weeks ago. Well, I can't cancel rock climbing. I put a deposit down. Okay. I'll golf on my own. Ugh, why is he being so stubborn? What about you? I wrote it down properly. Who cares, Maria? Your schedule is insane. You guys are a couple. You have to make compromises. Well, he can start first. Hey there. Hey, where have you been? Mr. Corbett took me to the lumber yard to buy recycled wood for the fence. Cool. It's a weird place. Guys standing around sniffing wood chips. At least you're getting along now. Big time. He wants me to join Just Quacks. Got an orientation package and everything. Adam, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Knock it off. Is there a test or something? I could quiz you. Nah, just info about what the group does. They have these big festivals all over the country. Wildlife awareness classes, whole families go. Look, they even have a branch for younger people. Junior Quackers, ha <laughs> ha. Hey, maybe I should join. 
Let me see. Huh? No, um, I, I mean, it, it's not really your thing. Uh, I'm totally into conservation. Yeah, but this is guy stuff, Sharon. Up at 6 a.m., tramping through the swamps, and some of these pictures, guys are, like, covered in mud. Don't even go there. <laughs> hmm. It's worse than camping in the rain, and you know how you feel about that. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just give them a donation. Maria! Greetings! I've got videos, snacks, and a scary article on how wearing lip gloss can lower your IQ. Okay... I thought we'd have a sleepover. <laughs> Aren't you booked up? Surfing in Hawaii, maybe? Bungee jumping? Well, I was supposed to see Brock, but he hasn't called since our fight. Well, have you called him? I started to, but... But what? I didn't know what to say. Did I hear the doorbell? Relax, it was Maria. Nice outfit. Adam's joining just quacks tonight. Think I need a tie? I'll get you one. Oh, that's Mr. Corbett now. This will just take a second. Forget it, Sharon. Huh? What? Adam? Adam, wait! Oh, he's gone, Sharon. He said forget about the tie. I found this in Adam's orientation package. I don't get it. These are hunters, Maria, with guns. And my brother's about to join them. Just Quacks is almost all hunters. That's why they're so nuts about conservation. So they'll have plenty of ducks to shoot? Does seem kind of dishonest. Did you check out their website? No, I read their keychains. It does outline their hunting policy. It's not immediately obvious, but it is there. But that's not how they come off. With the hats and the t-shirts and the toy ducks. I trusted them. I trusted your dad. I understand how you feel, Sharon. And I'm not into hunting myself, but it isn't a crime. How can you say that? Because it's true. Hunting's legal. And many people feel it helps maintain a balance when an animal population gets too large. Like deer. Would you rather many of them starve because there isn't enough food? Of course not. But maybe there are too many deer because hunters also kill cougars and wolves, which prey on them. Don't you think nature would work it out if people didn't hunt at all? Not necessarily. My dad says many animal populations are in trouble, Sharon, and not because of hunting. What about the buffalo? There used to be millions of them and they almost went extinct because of hunters. I have to stop Adam before it's too late. Could you please tell me where the meeting is? Don't you think it's his decision? He's doing this for you, Hannah, to impress your father. Please tell me where the meeting is. There, that's the place. Boy, does Adam ever have a big head. I can't see a thing through his hat. I know, but we have to fit in. Wow! Who'd have known this was here? Waterfowl identification guides? Oh, talk about phonies! We're supposed to fit in, remember? I know, but I can't help it. Well, help it! Oh, look, there's Adam! Is he actually having a good time? Let's just get him out of here. Quietly. Sharon, good to see you. Finding out about our Junior Quackers program? Uh, yeah, that's it. Are you planning to shoot that too? This? Oh, oh, oh no. This is a state-of-the-art decoy with its own remote and everything. We're raffling it off tonight. <whistles> Main meeting in the dining room hall, folks. Starting in five minutes. Refreshments afterwards. Adam! Oh, no! 
people actually wear these? Sure do. Okay. I missed Adam. He must be in the dining hall. Well, come on then. Don't believe them. They're killing ducks, not helping them. Just keep your mouth shut. Main meeting's private. Membership cards? Excuse me? Oh, must have left them in our bike packs. What do we do now? We'll never get past him. Okay, let me think. And so I'd like to present Daryl Warsnowski here with his Just Quacks pin, signifying that he is now a full-fledged member. Where's Adam? Can you see him? To your right, three o'clock. Next up is Daryl's brother, Pete. Sharon, what are you doing? I need to talk to you. Meet me at the plant. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Because you'd make a big scene, like you're doing right now. I don't care. You can't go through with this. Calling all new recruits. Will you cool it? Adam, please. Shh. Think of what these people do. You're not like them. I'm not going to hunt, okay? I promise. You can't keep that promise. Hannah's dad will change your mind. No, he won't. And you should know me better than that. I'd now like to call on Alan Spitz. Don't embarrass me, Sharon, please. Not in front of Mr. Corbett. <sighs> Alan here is my next door neighbor. And my daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> I'm sponsoring this guy myself. Great. Hello? Hey, hey, Wong, it's me. Brock! Sorry, I can't talk now. Fine. Oh. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Hey. Let's get out of here. Sharon, duck! Sharon? I saw her earlier. She was spreading lies about us. Me? You're the liars! No. You're pretending to be conservationists so you can have more ducks to kill. If it wasn't for us, there'd be no wetlands left at all, Sharon. And without wetlands, there'd be no ducks. Why not just work to conserve the environment and let the ducks live? Not all environmental groups support hunting. Because our members pay us to conserve the environment so they can enjoy their sport, which is duck hunting. No, killing ducks isn't a sport. Baseball's a sport. Yeah. <laughs> Take your sister outside, Alan. I think she needs some air. It's Adam, actually. And we're going home. The hunting thing stinks, but that's your business. The way you people treat my sister, that's mine. I'm sorry, Adam. I couldn't help it. No worries. It's all my fault. If I hadn't shown up at the meeting, Adam would have gone through with it, and your dad would still like him. He'll get over it. Oh, yeah. It'll take him weeks to work up to ignoring me again. He referred to you as Adam this morning. Really? W what did he say? Let's just focus on the good stuff. The thing is, he doesn't tell me who to date. That's all in your head. And when you go away to college, I'll come visit you. I'll even watch those dumb football games, okay? <laughs> I guess so. You'd better get your facts straight, you big goof. Because what you did at that meeting, I respect it. So 
follow this group I've been checking out? It's called the Pro Wetlands Conservancy. They're into saving habitat too, but their policy is no hunting. They say so right up front. Cool. They also say that pro hunting groups use phrases like wildlife management and habitat control to get people's sympathy. Hey, dudes. Brock, what are you doing here? I called. Asked him to join us. Way to go, Maria. I wasn't sure you'd come. This couple thing, weird sometimes. Tell me about it. So, what's on the schedule? Well, we're not golfing and we're not rock climbing. I could not do that. We all have to compromise sometimes, at least on the stuff we can. Because there are times when we just can't.